All right, for lesson two, we're going to start out in the top view of our leg. So make sure that we're in the top view. You can go to the ribbon above or use the view cube tool. And we're going to go ahead and select on the rectangle tool from the draw menu, the rectangle. And in the command line below, once we have it selected, we will go ahead and, and type 0, 0 for our coordinate. And then we'll press enter. And you should see the square box started. And then go ahead and type in 18, 20 for the x and y coordinate and press enter. And then to see what we did, let's go ahead to our top view. And you can even do it from the window, from the viewport. And you should see our leg and another rectangle. And then you can even go ahead and select other views. So what we're going to go ahead now is we're going to move the larger rectangle that we made. So on the ribbon above, select the icon or go ahead in the command line below and type in move. And let's go ahead and select the rectangle that we just made and press enter. And we're going to grab it from the bottom left corner and we're going to actually snap it and apply it to the bottom of the first rectangle. And it all should line up. And now what we're going to do is we're going to actually mirror that first leg. So from the ribbon above, find the mirror icon. Or go ahead and simply, in the command line, type in mirror and press enter. And you have to be careful. We only want to select the leg from the, so from the top down to the right. Select the leg and press enter and make sure that's all that is highlighted and not the larger rectangle. And then you're going to see these triangles appear in the middle. So on the bottom middle, go ahead and select it and drag it straight up and it asks us if we want to delete the first leg. So you can either press enter or N and then you should see the other leg appear. So we have two legs in the rectangle. And we are going to do the same procedure for the next two legs, which will be the, actually the rear. So go ahead and type in mirror or use the icon and press enter. And then again, from the top left to the right, drag it and press enter. And then we're going to go ahead and select the midpoint on the right and all the way to the left. And make sure that's perpendicular, so it's at a 90 degrees. And press enter. We don't want to delete the first one, so type in enter. It defaults to enter. And we have four legs, so we need to view this. So find an isometric view, and as we know, there's many different ways to do that. And let's get a conceptual view so it's shaded. And you can also use the View Cube tool. And on the View menu, you can go ahead and select the orbit and move it around at your discretion. So we should have four legs and then go back to the top view. And when we design in this command, we're, we, we typically want to be in the black and white view. Shading is, works very well for the uh, visualization. And then let's go ahead and type in move and press enter. And we're going to actually take this, these five rectangles and I'm going to move them. So independently select, select each rectangle and then press enter. And it should say on the command line below that there's five total. And if you look, you can snap in the center of that leg and move it straight up. And you're going to move it from the bottom of the leg to the top of the leg. And it's critical that it goes to the center of the leg. And all the way around you should see the leg and you've completed the lesson.